Hello, you lovely people. This is Talking With Josh here with... You introduce yourselves, people. My name is Shai, and I am a comic book artist who also does other nerdy things. I'm Linda. I have a gaming channel. I am super into conventions and all things gaming, so this is why I'm on a podcast. So actually, today's uh, podcast is actually going to be about my experience as well as we're talking about in general the experiences and things dealing with conventions specifically i went to supercon here if you can see <laughs> <laughs> so um and yeah um my my experience as of day one was actually really exciting really fun um and uh, I was just curious about you guys' experiences with cons. Okay, so I went to two playlists, and I went to a VidCon, and I went to a small convention that like is not around anymore. It was a StreamCon, I think it's called, but I can't remember what like, the title is. Okay. And the first playlist I ever went to, I went superly just as a fan, like just to like, geek out and everything like that. And I will say there is a crying corner and a charging wall of shame in every convention I've been to. <laughs> you, you'll see a corner where all the women and all the men that didn't get what they wanted are crying on the side. And then you're going to see a wall that has like tons of outlets and everybody's sitting there charging their hearts away. And it's just mass chaos. You'll be prepared for mass chaos and a lot of screaming. And if you hear screaming, look around you. That's my first warning because you're going to probably see a herd of girls just flying towards somebody because they like it. Like, I'm going to, so-and-so's at the fountain. We got to go. Be prepared at all times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I almost got knocked out by a couple girls just, like, running to a guy. And I was just like, I almost, I, my life flashed before my eyes. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> and also on that note, be sure to bring charges when you go to uh, con conventions because that, that is a must. A yes. power brick, I would recommend more of a power brick or um, a device that can charge really fast. You're going to blow through your battery within like an hour. I'm not lying. With all the photos and videos you want to take, yeah. with everything you want to see, it's going to be massively hard to just keep that battery going. you would be on 5% the whole day. Like, even <laughs> that's even with the... Uh, Life saving or what is it, battery saving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got a pocket juice that I'm using. It's dead right now. So, yeah. yeah, it's it's like that. Yeah. yeah, and then another thing is is bring good footwear because you're gonna be walking. Yeah, and, and, and food. Food. Yeah, if bring your own it. food. Like sneak it in if you yeah. can. Because yeah. like I, food at cons are expensive. Yes. Oh, when and that's I, if they have it at a con. Like sometimes you have to walk out of the convention to yeah. go to a food place. So. Yeah, and sometimes they have a food truck. Like last time <laughs> I went to Anime Expo, they had like four food trucks parked right out in front, right at lunchtime. Ready to go, yeah. But yeah, SuperCon, uh, it was the prices were like. What were the prices now? Like, um, just to get in. Just um, to get in. I actually had to buy my ticket early just so I could get a 15% They're at 100 bucks now. Like, 100 Because the last time I went, yeah. it was like $50 per, per No, it's $100 per yeah. Per, per wow. ticket. That's why if you guys ever go to a convention, try to get your tickets as early as possible because yeah. then they have those discounts which really knock off a good chunk of money. That's and insane. also is there's VIP tickets that are like gone in five seconds. So if you know yeah. about a convention like that you want to go to, get on their mailing list, find out everything you can about like usually when their time frame is for everything. Because like I'm planning for TwitchCon right now mm -hmm. and the tickets that I want to get, you have to buy right then and there because they're going to be gone in a month. Like, the minute they announce it, they're going to be gone. And another thing is, is the longer you wait, the more the, the price goes up. Yeah. And I then mean, also, you're not going to get all the benefits that you like. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> yeah, I remember one time I was just trying to uh, get a ticket for WonderCon when I was still back in California. And just 15 seconds. I, I got the email, and then that's okay at this time, uh, at the exact date, be on there. Put in your information and just be ready to purchase. I do exactly that. No Gone. luck. It literally, like, I refresh once. It's like, sold out. 
And that's the same thing goes for uh, uh, San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, Comic Con is always like oh. that. Especially, it's gone up. It's like yeah, but their prices, no, uh, yeah. The yeah. But if you want to get a table, it's like ridiculous. Because, oh. like, let me see. Uh, uh, last year I was at SuperCon and it cost me four hundred to have a table. How much yes. is the space for that one? Like, not even know, it's it's four foot by four foot. Four. It's not big. It's no. not big. No. But um, I was in the artist alley, yeah. where where other artists are, and it's like at SuperCon, it's you. You probably won't make a profit back. Probably not. Mostly because um, a lot of people that I know that do Artist Alley are comic book artists, or they're mm -hmm. like artists like you that draw, you know, in your style of illustrations. Yeah. A lot of people that go to SuperCon don't want that. They kind of like want these trinkets, yeah, like, like buttons, oh, like stickers, the, the 12 by 12 like little tiny, things. like those they things, don't want or prints, or, or prints, or like little like. Um, or um, this one guy, this one guy was making um, like um, acrylic. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. people go to SuperCon for that, because when I was there, the so, last three times I was like the only comic book artist in my section, the only one. And I sat between, like, like one was a girl who did like buttons and mm -hmm. made like these little tiny like kind of Jewel character thing. curves or whatever. Uh, and then on my other side, this guy drew pictures of butts and put them on buttons, and he sold them for like three dollars. And I watched these two make a massive amount of money, and I'm like. Am I in the wrong business? <laughs> no, it's just getting to find your platform. But it, it was more or less like um, noticing that Supercon has changed. You have yes. you have to realize that it's changed. It's not about yeah. comic books or artists anymore. It's now any any convention culture. changes yeah, throughout yeah. years. But like that that's the same thing with playlists. Like the first year that I went, it was massive. There was a you now stage on one side. There was an Instagram like section on one side. There mm -hmm. was. Uh, Twitch side, there was a tournament going on for gaming, they were doing Smash Bros on the other side, oh, yes, and then the last time I went this year, it was dead. It was like, the yeah. only thing that was there was Instagram, YouTube, and it was just like a bunch of musicians. The change is real. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was not no you now, no yeah. nothing, like, oh. and I, that's... Basically, you're not gonna know which convention you're getting the next year you go. Yeah, yeah. With, with with everything that's been, that's been happening, it's a lot more pop culture, and it feels, almost feels like Hollywood's trying to start to. to they are. They already are. It. If you look at YouTube, Will Smith is on everything. Yeah. There's there's Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> is on there. There's Jimmy Kimmel. Like yeah. they're all stealing ideas from smaller YouTubers and making it their own and saying, "Oh, look at this is." Yeah, because yeah. they're popular, so they're yeah, they, of being a big. Thing. And that's the thing is, is, they're on the trending page. They don't need to be on the trending page. They don't mm -hmm. need to be on. They the already, they're being paid to yeah. have their own show. Yeah, yeah. Like, but that's um, that's basically it. Hollywood is taking over, and we're no longer going to be. Yeah, <laughs> that's the reality of it. Yeah. yeah. So, right. But I actually want to touch base on, on specifically uh, tabling because I have oh. never tabled in my <laughs> life. Uh, I actually talked with uh, an artist at SuperCon, and I asked him, you know, I asked him his opinion on how things are going and. You know how how much is it to table? He told me his table was about a thousand dollars at SuperCon. It can run that. And honestly, from a person who's just getting started, still trying to put you know put themselves out there and trying to uh, create artwork, and the amount of money they have to go into self advertising, like you know the posters and things like that, and the the, the setup. And everything because what they, they just supply you a chair and a table yeah they give you so when you purchase a table if mm -hmm. you're an artist because I, I think for vendors it's different okay but if you're an art at the artist alley they give you a table they give you two chairs and that's basically okay. what you pay for when I paid for it last time it was about mm -hmm. four hundred and fifty dollars yeah. my table was small yeah. it, it just fit two people okay and they give you nothing else like nothing else comes with that. They give you two badges, so that means you can bring a gas so you don't get bored. Other than yeah. that, nothing. Okay. But you setting up your table is all you. The way you build it is all you. Like I yeah. like the first time I went, I was completely underprepared. I will tell you that. I just had the table and I was like, I just threw my art on the table. <laughs> and I was just like looking around at people build these makeshift crate things and like hang stuff on it, made it yeah. look all pretty, and I was like, wow, this is I am unprepared, <laughs> like yeah. literally, and I didn't make any money. I think okay. I made like five dollars. Really? Okay, and that was it. Like it, for it, the four days, it was wow. more of a black hole for money than it yeah. Was I out. made five dollars, but the experience. But the thing is, is that what you take from that is like, okay, now I'm prepared for the next time if I want to do it. Okay, and 
the next time, the next what was it, two times that I went, mm -hmm. I was more prepared. I had setups and all this stuff. I even bought like this backdrop with the character I drew with my name engraved in it and all this stuff. Nice. And people look at your stuff more, mm -hmm. but like we were just saying how things change. Yeah. People do not go to Supercon for comics anymore. No, like you no have longer have that. Convention. You have that, but people just look and they walk in, oh that's nice. And then they and they, they walk, walk past you and they're like, Oh, there's this button with a nice butt on it. Uh, yeah, uh, five dollars? Yeah, oh, sure. Out of my pack. And you're just kinda like Yeah. I have to do other stuff. <laughs> like <laughs> that that's that's actually what, 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 what uh, I had a discussion with another friend about this as well. And honestly, uh, it, it literally comes down to what the consumer wants. Yes. Yeah, so you're, you're trying to you're trying to put out your ideas to, uh, so people would be interested in it, but also at the same time the type of con you go to or 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 the 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 things you offer at the con because some people are in it for unique prints, other people are in it for buttons, some people are in it for you know they didn't bring much cash, so they're just gonna like buy a sticker or something yeah. cheap to show that they still support you, and some people just go there just to peruse, just the night to just like oh, just to soak it all in. Like, it's a vlog. That's part of their vlog. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I know some artists, and I've actually done this too. Is like some mm -hmm. artists will like do commissions on the spot. Yeah, I actually I saw, saw that in the video too. I would, I, I did that, like I, I did a couple of commissions of like uh, Saitama from One Punch Man and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I did like Sailor Moon, because I wasn't used to that, but people like the style that I illustrate in, so they're okay. like, oh, they want to see anime characters in the style that I draw in. I was like, okay, fine, sure, I'll do that. Okay. But roughly, it's not my thing to do, you know, anime characters, but, yeah. you know, sure, let, but make money and people get to see your art, but yeah, um, I know from being like, an illustrator for as long as I have that people, artists such as ourselves, yeah. I don't know if you draw or anything like I that. I draw for just a hobby. <clears throat> I don't like okay. nothing mm -hmm. inside it. But I know a lot of people use cons as a chance to like network. Yes. Because I remember like the first three times when I went, I didn't do that. I just mm -hmm. kind of went there to sell stuff, my artwork, whatever. People got to see it. But the yeah. fourth time I went, I got some good advice from an editor that I met and I just went with a ton of business cards and like every editor or writer I met, I was just like, here, I got this, yada, yada, yada. I'll talk to them and then I showed them stuff nice. and eventually somebody will call you and give you work and we'll see where that takes you. Nice. That's, but, yeah, business yeah. cards is a good thing. Yeah, business cards help. They, 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 they show people that you're serious. Yeah, so, yes. <laughs> remember people. Make even business cards. Make even business if cards. If, even if it's a blank card that yeah. has your name and a somewhere they can find you. Yeah. That works. Make Vista business print. Yes. Make business Make cards. business cards. I didn't print them out. Yeah. Something. I printed out yeah. tons. Me, <laughs> me personally, when I went to the con, I, I went for for two days. So the first one was all about, you know, let's go see the celebrities. Let's, let's go buy my stuff. Take it all but in, day yeah. two was my relax. So it's all about taking pictures. Yeah. About, you know cosplay and all that yeah. as well as I peruse the uh, um, what is it um, the uh, artist alley and I collect business cards yeah so I can actually follow their work I can if they got stores I can actually purchase what they what they're trying to sell specifically as opposed to like the one of kinds that they have there and they're just basically mm -hmm. reprints of that um, so you can actually start creating a relationship with them and you can just talk with them and I was actually completely shocked when I actually was walking through Supercon. Lo and behold, the voice actress for Bulma oh, wow. and for Chi Chi is actually an artist as well. So she was actually in the artist. Oh alley. wait, was she, Not... was, was she with Piccolo? I think. Was... Yes, with Piccolo, yeah, and she was also he, with the. No way. Uh, he brought them there. Yeah, he yeah. He brought yeah. them there, like he could, he brought them there, and he was like, um, um, because uh, no he was. No way. Yes. I don't know why. It's wild. He's, he's um, that's the artist I told you about. That's the, so the good. one that she does his she, own stuff. Yeah, she actually was doing chibis of the characters that she voiced. That's <laughs> so cool. That's it was so hilarious. Cool. It, like, I can find that video. Like, if you go, like, there's a guy that was interviewing everybody, mm -hmm. and he was like, What are you doing? He's like, Oh, I brought this guy, I brought this guy. Yeah. And he was cosplaying as Piccolo also. Yeah, they, they were taking photos right in front of her, right off the sides of the, uh, from her booth. That's so cool. So, <laughs> it was amazing. Um, yeah. Uh, with with tabling, be, uh, me being new also, so I'm right there with you guys. That's why I'm making this podcast. Um, you just got to be prepared. You got to think about your marketing. You got to think about how, how you're best going to sell yourself. Um, business cards. Pricing. And, and 
pricing. I can make sure I, I have a price list. I cannot stress this enough because I, I used to tell when I was teaching. I used to tell my students this all mm -hmm. the time. Prepare for rejection. You're you're gonna get those. You actually have to. Ex you have to learn yeah. how to take criticism and prepare for rejection. Yes. Don't don't take it personally. Yeah, because it's not. Because it's not it's not about you. No. It's about it's about getting you ready for real work. Exactly. So. That's why when when I went when when I went to art school, it was uh, um, they. I had a teacher who had a uh, uh, um, a tendency to rip apart, break over his knee, people's artwork during critiques. And he literally just, uh, um, he was like, it's garbage. Okay, so do it right. again. That, that, that's me. That's <laughs> <great>. <laughs> that's well, No, no, but, but, but his reasoning for that was you're attached to your art. You're, well, yeah. you're, you're so attached to your art, you're treating it like a baby, like you're, it's your baby. It's just like, yeah, but if you're, you if you're a decent enough art, you can make another you one. Can, you can draw yeah, like a better one. That actually, that does make sense that because make if sense somebody sense. buys your artwork, they can literally make a video of them burning it to the ground and Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. And that, what is it? Uh, uh, my mentor, uh, Stefan Silver, which I just recently uh, went to his character design, um, he was telling uh, his, his character design workshop, he was telling me about a story where he was a caricature artist and he had people just straight up getting angry over the caricature they did. He's like, oh, my nose doesn't look that right. My forehead's not that big. And they actually ripped the drawing off of his pad, wow. ripped it up in front of him, balled it up, and threw it in his face. I'm not paying for this and walked off. Mm -hmm. I can, yeah. It's so, it's, but, but the thing is, is that a lot of people don't understand what's the difference between a portrait and a caricature. Yeah, because a caricature is an exaggeration of yeah. what you look like. So why would you get mad over that? <laughs> like, you're paying for somebody to make fun of you. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what he stated. He said, you, you, you're, "You're paying me to mock you." Yeah, and, but in a funny manner, so then you can take it home and say, "Hey, like, if you're self-conscious about something, don't go to them." Yeah, yeah. don't go. You to want a portrait, portrait portraiture? Go, go hire a portraiture artist to actually go and. I mean, yeah. Come on. Wow. Yeah. Common sense. So, I mean, that's what characters are in Mad TV, and they, uh, Mad TV, Mad Magazine. Mad, Mad Magazine, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just, come on, come on. <laughs> I know it's rare, but use your common sense. Anyway, back to con. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so tabling is getting more difficult. Buying tickets is getting more difficult. It's not getting it's difficult, it's just getting expensive. It's, no, actually, uh, what, what, what people are doing is they're scalping the tickets. Oh, they're scalping they're them. They're buying yes. them and then selling Wait. them at the convention for triple the price. Good yeah, word. yeah. So that then there's that. That will definitely ruin a convention. Yeah. And then people are buying the items from the conventions and selling them on eBay. For, so then you get there, you ha literally have to buy anymore the all day pass, every day preview pass or whatever it is because. If you want a specific thing, you have to get in line that first day and wait 30 minutes, 40 minutes to and, get the item. And a lot of people don't even know, but they assume the first day is Friday. It's actually Thursday. Yeah, yes. and, and, also, conventions, I and also the stars don't show up that day. They show up two days prior. Yeah. They get prepared, so you're not going to meet them in the front waiting for them to roll up in. They're already in the convention chilling before you even get there. Yeah. You actually, when I went to Supercon, they they announced that, uh, um, like, his, okay, Kevin Conroy was there, mm -hmm. and yes, I mean, he's, he's the voice of Batman. You yes. will actually see this it. at the end of this he video. Got it. So. He got it, he but, got it. But, uh, <laughs> um, congrats. Thank you. <laughs> it was awesome, and I think you would love it too, <laughs> he said. But, um, the Overwatch girls, they literally just flew in uh, to the Fort Lauderdale airport. That is very and they're like they just booked it directly to the flight. So wow, there are times where they literally just come in because happens. they're doing a previous con. Yeah, but that, that's a rare occurrence. But for the most part, anymore now they're asking the stars to be that early because they want them there that day. Yes, be prepared because a lot of a lot of kids come in thinking I'm gonna go that day. I'm gonna see my stars. Mm -hmm. Be prepared. You're not gonna meet everybody. And yeah. you might get rejected. I've met so many YouTubers and so many stars that I thought were sweethearts. Yeah. They're sweethearts on their channel. 
Because they have to be. <laughs> they are not yeah. going to be that in real life. Be prepared for rejection, like I, like he said. Yeah. Be prepared that you walk up to somebody and say, "Hey, can I get a photo? Can I get a? Uh, can I have an autograph?" And they're going to be like, "No." Or they're going to be like, "Look, it's going to cost you like forty bucks." Yeah. Or they have, more. They have to make their money back. Uh, of like, course. So. I've had that happen. Like I'll approach a celebrity that I, I've never seen in real life, and I'm just like, "Oh, hey, can I get a picture?" And they're like, "Yeah, I got to charge you. I'm sorry." I'm like, yeah. It's like, well, that's their like, their face. Or if it's a voice actor, yeah. their voices rely on them. That's why when I went to SuperCon, uh, Widowmaker and uh, uh, all the over, uh, Overwatch cast, they actually ca- uh, charge like $30 yeah. just for voice recordings. I mean, it'd be cool because then you can actually pay 30 bucks and yeah. have them say something specific in the character with, voice. With your name. With yeah. your name involved. Yeah. So that would be cool. That'd be cool. Uh, but they still need to get paid because that's, that's their livelihood. Yeah, yeah. So and I, if, if you don't if you want to avoid that, most of the VIP packages have that included to where you can meet a few stars who you really want to meet and not pay extra for it. Exactly. And so they even have just like, check it out. They even have after parties where you can literally just schmooze with them. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Supercon that, actually had those yeah, uh, yeah. after after dark mm-hmm. where you're able to just have a drink, walk about, talk with celebrities, like because they're normal people, they just have to do <laughs> just. That's the one thing that people, people, people no. freak out. It's just like, oh my god, it's 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 William Shatner. Or it's, Some, it's, it happens, like, man. Sometimes people get starstruck. Yeah, yeah. 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 it happens. But, and then, and then uh, the thing is, I've I've met people who passed out. I literally would. I went. I saw them like go up to the person, walk up, <laughs> pass out, and then they lost their opportunity to meet that person. Wow. Be yeah, calm. That. You're gonna lose that. your opportunity if you I, don't. Exactly. And honestly, because I, I used to work at Hard Rock. I over did here, too. Some yeah. Hard Rock. And the amount of subla- celebrities, I was, I was at the place where they only serve breakfast. It's like the only place that served breakfast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I saw all the celebrities come down, and Shaquille O'Neal. It kind of like uh, desensitizes you to meeting them. Yeah, because they're normal people. They just happen to, to, to get yeah. to that level of, of success. Yeah. And then, of course, the media hypes it up. Yeah. So now it's like up to that point where it's just... You, they're, they're normal people, people. Come on. You just see them as normal people. Yeah, you don't see them yeah. as celebrities. Yeah. You don't see them as a status. Of, of, like, of yeah. course. And it's like meeting that. Yeah, that's cool. It's like, cool. You got, you're, you're a fan of their work. Mm-hmm. But, wow, we were really off topic of God. <laughs> 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 I mean, we can That's, no, we, we that's the podcast. You that, never that, know that, where your that, podcast yeah, is going to go. Of course. We're kind of staying on topic. But, but yeah, uh, um, going back to the cons and the celebrity bit. Uh, yeah, involving with cons... Let's let's re-review again. Okay, okay. table's expensive. Okay, <laughs> tickets are expensive. Save up, bring food. The food thing. That's yeah. the thing we want to address because power brick yeah. it up and extra batteries if you can. For sure. Comfortable footwear. You might be standing for hours. I guess. I guess oh, extra right. SD cards or like a portable hard yes. drive. Yes. Yeah. And right. then also um, be prepared that you're not gonna find a seat. There is portable like seats that are inside backpacks if you're like disabled or something like that mm-hmm. bring that they have those you just have to get informal writing that this is okay to have i have one and i actually got hit with this a couple of times on just on the offset bring cash mm-hmm. yeah, yeah that yeah. was the number one thing at, at bring Super cash because not yeah. everyone has the um the the what's, the, what's it called the square, square. The, the square they also have the paypal not, not, not everyone has that so yeah. you might spot something you really want you're willing to pay and you have card only. Bring yeah. both. Bring both of both. Because bring, bring both debit cash and debit. And, 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 and then actually sometimes credit because sometimes some things that you want they don't want debit or cash yeah. or they yeah. want credit or they it, it's they're very specific to what yeah they're like asking you might for. go and then also you might go to something and they're like oh no you have to buy in advance yeah so read the website yeah exactly yeah. to the T because. There's some things that you have to buy a ticket for, or some things you have to have yeah. in a raffle or, or like a lottery, and yeah. you have to specifically win that lottery in order to get it. Another another thing I didn't think I was gonna need, but I was happy I, I just had it with me at the time when I went, was a backpack. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because you're gonna end up buying so much stuff. Check the specifics of the website because some backpacks are now illegal at cons because yeah. of the security issue. Really? Because yeah. mm-hmm. uh, they, 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 they check you now. Yes, I actually got they, checked. They check you now. I, I, I just got myself a new backpack and it's it's pretty neat. 
Yeah. Um, and For like comp the VidCon, VidCon has specific diameter dimensions. You have to keep under that, or you will have yours confiscated until you're done with the convention. You get it back at the end of the day. Oh, they're, they're, getting, they're, they're getting hardcore right now. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's yeah. like because yeah. of because of Christina Grimmy and a couple other things that have happened. Mm -hmm. um, it, Tommy, the guy who played Tommy, Jason, mm -hmm. he he got somebody went to the convention that he was at and actually had. A bunch of grenades had uh, several like uh, they, he was gonna kill that guy oh, that day. Yeah. The Green Ranger. Yeah, the Green Ranger. Oh, what oh, they call okay. me, Jason. Uh, Jason David Frank. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he he literally the security found the guy with the stuff in the backpack, wow. and and he was walking around like it's a cosplay thing, that's and that's why insane. they're they're like that now. He walked around like he he made it look like it was a cosplay like thing, I and know. and somebody one of his family members said. You need to get him now because he's gonna do something stupid at this convention, and that's the only reason they found out was because somebody said something because they saw it on. That's insane. <laughs> I'm not lying. You can look it up. There's like wow. conference. Like he had a like, and even Jason was like, "We need to beef up security, please. Every convention, beef yeah. up security." Because look away. He just walked in. He literally walked in. He could have gotten farther and did something. Yeah. It's getting dangerous to go cons apparently. So so, so now I know where your exits are. Yeah, prepare for exits and also if you see something, do go and say something to a security. And yeah, if they don't do say not. anything or they don't do anything, that's because that security guard doesn't know what they're doing. Go to someone else. Yeah. Go to an official. You don't do, you don't wait and you know. let things just blow over. Like oh he's not gonna really do anything. If you're suspicious of anybody. Just do Report something. Report it because then yeah. they'll, they'll keep a watch on that particular person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's. It's mind blowing. Like I was actually just going through the the, the Florida Supercon uh, book, and I just happened to see mustard, like aerosol mustard. And it's like, why are you bringing mustard gas to a con? Cosplay. It's cosplay, and that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people don't realize that that cosplay item is dangerous. It's a hazard. If it goes off, it's really gonna put mustard gas in the air. They think, oh, it's it's fun. It's just part of my character. It's just cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, that's that's maddening. If you're going for a table at con, also be prepared for this madness too. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, did we cover all bases? Or I, think so. I, I think so. I think we're pretty much we're pretty good. All righty. Well, thank you very much for uh, joining me on the uh, talking with Josh. Uh, stay tuned at the very end to see Kevin Conroy with a special message. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. I'm not Josh now. Keep creating. <laughs>